Now I'm talking about reproducibility, which I think was mentioned earlier by at least Melissa, if not others. Um, this may be new to folks. It's a journal club. Now I can't advance, there we go. It's a journal club that started at Oxford University in 2018. Um, it was three early career researchers, um, Sophia Cruel, Amy Orban, and Sam Parsons. Um, it was a grassroots effort to have people come together and discuss articles that had been published on reproducibility. These folks all um, came from the experimental psychology uh, discipline. Um, they developed this cool logo using the OSF badges um, and started talking about what they, uh, the journal club on Twitter and elsewhere. And folks started getting excited, including me, and wanted to adopt what they were doing. Um, and so they were really transparent about their uh, journal club and put everything online. So different chapters were able to form very easily. And so if you have any interest in this, you could go to this link I provided and um, start thinking about how you could host something similar at your institution. So currently when I checked today, there were 65 different institutions hosting reproducibilities. Um, including University of Minnesota chapter, um, and this is in 19 different countries. Um, our chapter here came out of something called Many Faces of Reproducibility. Many Faces of Reproducibility is some internal grant um, funding uh, where it's a three-year grant. I'm part of this grant uh, as well as some other colleagues in the libraries. And we're looking at different reproducibility approaches around campus and getting folks together to talk and present. Um, and so this was targeting, specifically targeting graduate students. Um, and so basically all we needed to do was get the T, um, reserve a room, create a reading list of articles about reproducibility, which wasn't hard for me because I'd already been tracking that. Frank Sayer and I had been really keeping good tabs on reproducibility articles. And then we started marketing to graduate students. So last semester was our first go at this and we had 40 people express interest in the survey that we sent around and we used their schedules to determine three different meeting times for each article. There's twice a month meetings. And then this semester we're down to two meeting times and um, I'm facilitating the East Bank. So I have to get ready for Thursday's meeting to talk about their particular article. I would say the best things that have come out of it is like really great networking for grad students, postdocs, and some faculty. Um, we've been able to discuss things, become friends on Twitter, email about key things we're finding out um, in the literature. And it's been a great opportunity selfishly for me to highlight library services such as data curation and our data management boot camps and to talk about open access um, and things on more of the SCALCOM side of things. So that's all I had to say about reproducibility. I encourage you to check out the webpage that I shared or ask me about um, how things got set up at University of Minnesota.